Administration is therefore declined. I call on Government Order Point of order, Materia Ture. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I seek your clarification on uh, just a few short matters concerning correspondence between our officers on the application of standing orders 161 and 162 to the vote on the New Zealand International Convention Centre Bill. Uh, sir, I have three questions of clarification, which I hope won't take long. The first, sir, is can is it the case that Standing Orders 161 and 162 requires MPs to make an explicit and separate declaration of any financial interest that they might hold in Sky City, given the bill as a matter of business before the House, held by the Order, MPs the or member family bring, members? Is bring that the her case? point to a close very quickly. I'll... But is I don't that, want to that's, labour that's this. That's the first question. Yep. No, absolutely, Mr Speaker. The second question is, uh, is it the case that if an MP does not declare a financial interest that they might have, that they or their families or trust or companies that they have an interest in uh, who own shares in Sky City, if they do not declare that interest, they are at risk of being in contempt of the rules of the House and therefore subject to a privileges complaint? And third, sir, will you require MPs to declare under Standing Order 161 and 162 if they, their family members or trusts and co or companies in which they have an interest own shares in Sky City before the third, the third reading vote on the bill is held? I, I thank the member for the point she's raising. The member may not be aware, but following receipt of her letter dated yesterday, I have written a substantial reply to the member. I can summarise that very quickly. All members are aware of uh, potential conflicts of interest. It is for members to monitor that, not for the Speaker. That applies to any particular debate that may be about to take place in this House. I call on Government Order of the Day. Uh, can I just clarify that this is a fresh point of order? Yep, right, we will sir. hear it. Uh, sir, on Friday I sent a letter to your office uh, seeking your view on a privileges complaint that John Banks holds a conflict of interest order, in this matter, order, and I wondered about order, you... order. Those matters are under consideration. Uh, they are not the matters that should be then raised in this House or, for that matter, within the media. Call on Government Order of the Day, number one. New Zealand International Convention Centre Bill, 